Good day everyone. This is another video lesson in EAPP and the topic that I'm going to discuss in this video is writing a data commentary. Here are the lesson objectives. At the end of the lessons, you'll be able to identify the parts of a data commentary, explain how data interpretation is done, and employ appropriate hedging expressions in making claims. Structure of a data commentary. Presentation and analysis of data is called a data commentary. It has four basic parts. Data presentation, location elements and summaries, highlighting statements, and conclusions. So data commentary means presentation of data and the written description of your report. It provides the data that you have gathered and the narrative statements of the data presented in the paper, as well as their explanations, analysis, and implications. And these are the parts. First is the data presentation. Data are often presented graphically for order and greater clarity. Graphic data presentation can be in the form of figures and tables. A table is often used to present voluminous data. On the other hand, a figure is anything other than a table, like charts, graphs, pictures, and maps. A figure is ideal for showing general trends and patterns and for pointing out comparisons among data. So the data should be presented in a visual presentation in a form of graph, tables, charts, or anything that clearly presents the data that you have gathered in your research investigation. The visual representation should also suit to the type of data that you are presenting. Okay, for example, this is a table. Total fruit production or metric tons in Trinidad Valley, Baguio. So this table shows the harvest of the fruits, particularly in Trinidad Valley, Baguio, from 1980 to 2010. Next is location and summary expressions. The next part of a commentary is actually just a sentence that identifies what figure or table or the location expression is being discussed and what data is figure or table contains, the summary expression. Each table and figure in a paper have to be discussed separately, so you have to refer to each one by its number or location element so as not to confuse the reader. So this part is the commentary of the data or the statements that describe the data presented in tables, charts, or gaps. So in every set of data, you have to provide their description and explanation so that your readers can clearly understand the data and their implications. Next is highlighting statements. This part of a database commentary is where you discuss the significant data. Usually significant data are the highest or predominant and the lowest. It is the part wherein you have to highlight the significant data and the results that can see in your investigation. So you have to highlight first the data that is prevalent from your respondents. So here are example discourse styles in order to structure your statements. First, useful expressions when reporting results. For example, the majority, blank percent of respondents said, approximately half or whatever, blank percent of respondents said, as can be seen in table blank, the dry season in blank or place is longer or shorter than in place. So useful expressions when reporting trends. There has been a gradual decrease in. There is a steady increase. Mark, fall, steep, rise in. There is a sharp or trap in. Price of blank has been stable in the last blank, which means a period of time. So these are expressions that are helpful in terms of reporting your data. Next is the conclusion. You conclude a commentary by giving explanations or discussing the implications of the data. In academic writing, research-based explanations carry more weight than cursory comments or speculations. In this regard, remember to observe proper documentation of your sources of information.
So conclusion is a part wherein you explain the main implications of your study, explain the most noticeable results in your analysis. Your conclusion should be based in the factual data and should be supported by theories or related literature in order to solidify and substantiate your analysis. And that's the end of this discussion. And I hope that you gained something from the lesson.